What's good, y'all? So as I stated in my video earlier today, you know, I'm in a different position in my life. I'm in a new leg of this journey. And I can't lie, I'm enjoying it so much. You know, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying creating something out of nothing. That's been the, that's literally what I'm titling this chapter of my life. Something out of nothing. That's literally one of my pieces that I created. Very, very, very basic. Very, very, very simple. But for those of the people that understand it, you're going to see that piece and you're like, okay, I see what he was going for there. You know? When you enter a new environment, you see different things. And those, those tailor the way that you think. Those tailor the way that you see the world. The things that you once laughed at, you take more seriously. The things that you take seriously, you now laugh at, right? Because you grow, you mature, you adapt. That is something that some people don't do. A lot of people don't adapt. They crumble, they get scared, they get full of fear. None of that exists in my world. It can't. I felt it again. I don't like it. I'm done with that feeling. You know? I used to joke. Like the New York hustlers, for example. You know, the stereotypical hustler guy. Hey, yo, I got these fake knockoff J's, but I'm going to sell them to you like they're real. I ain't mad at that. I'm really not. You found, you made something out of nothing. You got some fake shoes and you got someone to pay full price for it. That's their fault. You got what you wanted out of it. It is what it is. You didn't say that these were name brand. These are shoes. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, yo, you, you want some J's? I mean... Technically, the, the, the actual shoes are not called J's. They're called Jordans. So with me calling them J's, I'm actually not lying to you. Yo, it's, it's all part of the game. You know, and I'm not mad at it. I don't respect nobody. I, or I respect. You know, I'm not here to disrespect anybody's hustle. You know, I'm really not. Because I get it now. Do what you got to do. Like I told y'all in the last video, I literally found a packet that I was able to produce and resell online. $22 for a packet. If you want to buy it to support, go ahead and do that. You know, and I'm going to start updating my channel with all my information and stuff up there. Go do it. It's a win-win for both of us anyway. What's wrong with writing down your goals? And you're here to support me? Psh, what's, what's up with it? You know what I'm saying? Win-win for everybody. I get a little bit of scratch. You get a little bit of motivation to change the rest of your life. You know, that's actually a funny thing. With me adopt, like really getting into this mindset... You know, I found it very funny, and I'm not sure, I can't, I don't think I made this video. I know I've been talking to people about it, so it's very hard for me to remember if I told it up here or to random people. But, you know, one of, one of the, uh, of, you know, of something that happened I had, an experience I had that really changed my view on things. And it, it's come full circle. There's always something that I just remember in the moment. I don't know why it strikes me so much, but then even years, years, years later, I'll remember it and be like, that's what that was for. That was a lesson I wasn't ready to learn yet. There was an, um, there was like the artist and we went up to them and, or we went up to her and like, we you know, we, uh, she asked, oh, my mom asked her mom, grandma, somebody asked how much for your, for your art. And she just said 3,000, 5,000, just like just sitting there drawing some stuff. And how much is that? 3,000, 5,000. And in my head, when I first heard that, don't get me wrong. I still had my lack mentality at the time too. You know, my spiritual journey had not truly, truly begun like the, like the, the big, the big leap. But so when I first heard that, I was like, three, five thousand for that? You know what I'm saying? But when you become an artist, you get it. What are you worth? Well, this is technically priceless. Technically, you know, but if I had to put a price tag on it, it's gonna be something that puts that 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 that, that pays the bills. It's gonna be something that covers my expenses. I have an affirmation that I've been using uh, extremely well, and it's already starting to manifest itself in my life. You know, all of my expenses, all of my expenses are divinely covered. I go through, this is 108 beads. I'm so happy that I bought this so long ago. This is 108 beads. Now imagine you repeating something to yourself 108 times. Doesn't that start to reprogram your mind at a certain point? That's how you manifest. Now you can use these. This is the equivalent of scripting for those of y'all. Scripting, using the beads, saying it to yourself in meditation. It all gets to the same, same end goal. So use what works at the time. You know, you know, a couple months from now, I might not pick these up three years from now, from now, I might pick them back up. Who knows? You know, sometimes y'all got to put a little bit of y'all's pride away. And sometimes it's not you stepping away from your pride or you going against your, your own ego or whatever. It's sometimes it's just like, no, this is a resource that you could just be using. And depending on the situation, of course, you're just ignorant to not utilize it. Now, if you can explain it to everyone why you choose not to do something, that's on your own decision. We all make our own decisions. I'm just throwing out advice to everybody here. You know, this is a new mindset I'm at, so I got a new plethora of things that I can really drill home to y'all right now. 
you know it's like some people don't know the value of work you know for the longest time like you know a lot i'm sure a lot of us even like the classical pieces even like the mona lisa you know art is very subjective i get that but the mona lisa don't look like nothing to me like it's just a it's just a portrait of a woman there's a lot of those. Why is this one so famous? I'm sure there's probably some story behind it. But nevertheless, you have to go do your research. Either I'm, I can continue living in my world of ignorance because ignorance is bliss. Or I can go out there and learn something. And now I can be associating with this caliber of people that actually understand the value of art. You know, it's not all about what you see with your eyes. It's sometimes sometimes it's all about like you practicing your your, your, your marketing skills. You know, all of it at the end of the day. I don't care if it's uh, Machiavelli, Picasso, uh, uh, Salvador Dali. I don't care. It's just paint on the canvas. That's all it is at the end of the day. What you're really doing, I mean, aside like in, aside from like money laundering that I'm, com I'm convinced is going on. It's like what you're also doing is you are selling an emotion. You are selling a thought form. That's just how I look at it anyway. Some people are like how I started this off. Like even like I've transitioned so quickly with this. That it's like some people have seen this as a cash grab. More power to you. If it works for you, go for it. But I know what's meant for me is meant for me. And I know there's nothing but success meant for me. And how do you know that you made it to success? That's how I'm going to end this video off. You know you've made it to success when you're in maintenance mode. You know? And like if y'all don't understand what maintenance mode is. Maintenance on a building. If you want to wash a window, you know, how much easier is it to spray a little bit of Windex and wipe it down? Clean. Done. Easy. Right? That's maintenance. Instead of the building mode, let's just say, let's keep it in that frame. You know, you want to wash the window. Well, now you have to build an entire new window and install it instead of just wiping it down. Building, more expensive, more work, more time consuming. Maintenance. Little quick little fix here, little fix here. You get the base source code or whatever for your for every for your computer code, for example, right? You get that information, you get it set up. It's running and running and running. Everything is going smooth. Then you get like a script error. Oh, it messed up right here. What happened here? How do I fix that? Tick, 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 tick. Fix. It starts running again. And you rinse and repeat. That's maintenance. You see? When you're going through your uh, your own personal journey, it doesn't even have to be like entrepreneurship, freelancing, whatever. It's like when you when you were just working on yourself, it's so much easier to just be yourself. Some of for some of y'all, it's actually impossible for y'all right now. But like to just sit here and just be like, I'm me. Don't get me wrong. Yes, we're always building. But for me specifically, there was a a, a point in my life where it's like I had to completely start from scratch. And that took a lot of crying, a lot of tears, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, but a lot of acceptance as well. When I began to accept who I was becoming and when I learned to accept to let go some of the things of the past, that's when everything started. When I closed that old door that was no longer serving me, more of them opened. You know, right now, life, life is like closing one door in front of me. You know, when one door closed, look at how many doors opened up. Look how many doors have opened up. I gone from like having just one source of income to potentially having like four or five that I just opened up. And now it's just now it's like it's kind of like when you turn on a water hose, turn on the water hose. At first, it takes a few seconds for the water to work its way all the way through the hose out and then out. So you can do whatever, you know, fill up your pool or whatever, you know. So but I've turned on the hose and some of y'all ain't even doing that. Y'all want the wealth to flow into your life, but you haven't even you haven't even twist the nozzle yet. So I'm twisting all the nozzles. So we're going to do this. You know, and it's in, and like y'all have been supporting me just talking. You know, and like it's like now let's see if y'all going to keep continue the support. You know, cuz like there's a time where it's like you got to do what you got to do. You know, it's like if some of y'all wanted to meet Oliver, there's a, this is a lot more of him right now. You know, the light side and the dark side. You know, the light is here for the world. The dark is here for me. The light is like, you know, uh, oh, it's like it's, like, it's world centered. I want the world to win and blah, 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 blah. There's nothing wrong with the dark side, but I'm going to get mine too, you know? And I've been giving and giving and giving, but now I've been seeing that the world is starting to let me start to receive. That's how I look at this, you know? 
everything that I've been working towards, whether it be the learning, whether it be like the learning of like different like articles of war, like, you know, the, the, the law of war, you know, the art of war, excuse me, like uh, by Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. It's like, I haven't read that book in a while. How you doing? How you doing, doing good. It's like, but like after reading that book, it's like I start to understand that type of stuff. And like, you know, when we are far, appear close. When we are close, appear far, or like uh, appear far, you know, all that type of stuff. Seeing through the smoke screens, you know, seeing, seeing through the decoys, seeing through the traps. With me doing the fasting, you know, it's like, it's like I was preparing for a point where everything wasn't so plentiful and bountiful. I was preparing for all of that. You know, and I know how little I literally need to survive. I don't need anything. I can come sit out here and I feel good because that's all the food I really need. You know what I'm saying? But I do like to enjoy the physical aspects of life. Find the balance. This past month or so, like month, month, um, probably like the past two months, really. I've just been enjoying the luxuries because something in me knew that it was coming to a close and it's going to be time to get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Everything that's been happening has been working towards this. And it's, it's a really good feeling to live in. You know, it's really fun to see all the preparation was for this moment. You know, I really do consider this my test. Of course, we have many tests throughout life, but this is my final for this year. You know what I'm saying? By this year, like the school year. This is my, my senior year test. This is my junior year test. Nah, no, nah, I'm going to call it my senior year of high school test. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to call this my senior year of high school test because I've been here for four years and now I'm getting my, 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 my grand test now. And I'm going to ace it. <laughs> I'm going to ace it. You know? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I only allow success into my life. You know? There's so many affirmations that I've used over the course of the of, over these past few years that have got me to this point that have prepared me. You know, this is my chain to break. I'm not saying that there's not wealth in my family, in my entire family, but this is a chain that I have to break. There's certain things I see from, from some people that are real close to me that I cannot in my world. I cannot live. I can't do it. I can't live like that. I love you. I appreciate you. I respect you. But that's not my life. I can't live like that. I can't think like that. I got to break that chain. And sometimes I got to go against the grain to do it, but I'm going to do it. I've never seen failure, like true, true, true failure in my life. Because there was no, there was no room for it in my life. I closed the door on failure. Now, of course, the small hiccups along the way, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, when I say failure, I mean that bad incident that said, you know, it's time for you to give up. Throw it all away, give it up, pack it up, you're done. I haven't experienced that. And I don't plan on it yet. I don't plan on it. I'm a mental alchemist. I'm a mental magician. I turn lead into gold. I make something out of nothing. I manifest the world that I want to live in. I'm not playing around with this, but these principles, these practices, these preachings that I've been like spitting out for the last year and some change, you know what I'm saying? They're really coming in handy right now. You know, that, that's the equivalent of me playing back, playing back my videos, me putting into practice what I've been preaching all this time. Y'all have seen it. For those of y'all that have been with me for a long time, y'all have seen the growth. Y'all have seen it. I told y'all, I don't exaggerate. Every single week, I grow. But now that it's truly up to me now, every second, I fucking grow. Every second. If I hear an opportunity, I'm just, my ears perk up. You know, I can do that from my room. I can do that from my phone. For example, like let me put y'all on game real quick. Um, for, for for those of y'all that want uh, that want a free NFT, um, go like go look at like the engine wallet, the engine uh like engine wallet, and they will like all you gotta do is sign up, scan the QR code, and you, and like the next day, like it took me like a day for me to get it, but then the next day you will get like a um you'll get a free NFT. 
It might be just a little collectible just to get people into their, their community. It might be one of those things that turns into a billion dollars, but it's free. Download the app, scan a QR code, and wait. You know, that's all you got to do. Some of y'all are going to take that engine, E-N-J-I-N. Some of y'all are going to take that advice, and some of y'all aren't. And that shows the difference between some of y'all and some of us. Till the next one, y'all.